Newsmax Prime continues as the controversy continues at the Citadel. That military college in South Carolina seems an incoming freshman cadet is requesting that she be allowed to wear her hijab with her uniform. But some Christian cadets are upset, saying they have no way to express their faith through the uniform requirements. It is worth noting that if the school were to agree to this uniform change, it would be the first exception made to the uniform code in 175 years of history at the Citadel. Joining us now via Skype from Phoenix, the founder and president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy, Dr. M. Zudi Jasser. Zudi is also the author of the book, A Battle for the Soul of Islam, An American Muslim Patriot's Fight to Save His Faith. For purposes of full disclosure, we should note that Zudi is my personal physician. To further disclose, we should point out that we met on Capitol Hill when I was a member of Congress and he was a naval officer working in the medical clinic there. So you know medicine, you know the military, and you know some of the controversies surrounding the Muslim faith, Zudi. Your take on what is transpiring at the Citadel. Well, it's good to be with you, J.D. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you know, the question is, how do we look at this issue? If you look at it from a military DOD perspective, this issue has gone through the court system uh, back in the 80s. Uh, there was a case versus Secretary Weinberger in which the Jewish community was allowed to wear their yarmulke. And then the hijab has been permitted. Now, as a naval officer, I'll tell you, I'm not one that's uh, uh, also anxious for uniform uh, exceptions to be made. But the hijab is basically, how do you define it? Not all hijabs are the same. Most Muslim women who wear it have to wear it religiously if they choose to. And they wear it simply as a swim, almost like a swim cap to cover their hair. There are hijabs that cover the neck and otherwise. I think those would be inappropriate. But the ones to simply cover the hair that can go under the regular cover, the military has already ruled that those aren't a problem. You have to apply for the exceptions in each duty station. It has to not you know, get in the way of chemical weapon uh, masks, etc. But there is precedence in the U.S. military. Now, at the Citadel, they're a private institution. They can choose to make exceptions or not. They can say universally they refuse to make exceptions. There have been Muslims that have gone to the Citadel and have not requested that exception. So to say that every Muslim needs it is not true. But certainly the women who choose to wear that orthodox head cover cannot be in the military or, or go to school there if they aren't allowed to wear it. Azudi, there is another uh, topic of interest we need to cover tonight. The United Nations convened its 13th Islamic Summit, where over 30 Muslim heads of state met last week. The summit adopted a 10-year plan for action for the Islamic world. It includes creating new, quote, anti-extremism centers, as well as an international peace conference to work on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. D does anything come of this, or is this just the UN preening and posturing in terms of public diplomacy. About a minute to answer the question. Well, J.D., I'm so glad you brought this up. This Islamic summit uh, is really, we should pay attention because the, the voting bloc of the Islamic countries is becoming a neo-caliphate. It's not ISIS that's the caliphate. It's these Islamic countries run by Turkey and Erdogan. You even had the Shia-Sunni axis bridge each other, and you had Rouhani visit Erdogan in Ankara, during this summit, so they focused again on their anti-Zionism, pro-Palestinian issues. They talked about economic cooperation against the West. So while we're asleep, they're actually building the building blocks from Turkey for the re recurrence of the Ottoman Empire, the caliphate as they see it. They talked about Syria, how to even divide it or actually end uh, the Assad-Russia uh, access, if you will. So there's a lot going on there that we need to pay attention and wake up to the fact that the new Cold War is the the new evil empire is the organization of Islamic cooperation that met just uh, in the U.N. Ten seconds. Was this gathering basically an assembly of extremists, in your opinion? I, I believe so. It's gathering of countries that are feeding extremism. They claim to be with us against the endpoint of, of militant Islam, but their countries are cauldrons that are brewing the ideologies that radicalize those groups. M. Zudi Jasser, Phoenix physician, we thank you for your time tonight. You heard what Zudi had to say. Happy to get a second opinion from you. Send your comments to me at NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. Back with more right after this.